So in 4.5, uh, there is a crew that has been put together uh, to prepare for a mission to Titan. The mission to Titan all starts out, uh, it's, it's set up in the first episode when Zane and Fargo get into some shenanigans and accidentally uh, shoot themselves into space, which uh, turns out to be actually quite a good thing. The Astraeus mission is the biggest thing to happen to science, well maybe ever. Choosing who was going to want to be on the mission and who was actually going to end up going, those were um, both topics of long discussion. Um, ultimately, it was also about who was going to be left behind to try to find the missing crew. There is some uh, debate in the room as to who gets to go on the mission Titan and who doesn't. But I, I think in the end, it's sort of a matter of like who who do we want to experience this this crazy adventure? Who would be the best sort of um, to see competing for a spot? Global Dynamics wants you. For the mission to Astraeus, I think that the first person chosen should be me, Zane Donovan, obviously. Then I would say probably Fargo, just so I can watch Fargo and Parrish battle it out. Wow, of, of, of the, the, one, the one person you could ask who has no clue on uh, who should go to Titan, I would say Vincent, because he cooks good. I think that Vincent should probably not go because he's got to feed the town. I mean, I'm thinking practically, right? Vincent's got to feed the town. He's got to keep that going and press. Oh, you know who I forgot to include? We need Vincent in space. Who's going to feed us? I think as the season progresses, everyone's going to love Dr. Parrish just because he's evil. But he definitely can't go because he's always on the wrong side. Of course, Dr. Parrish should be on the mission. In fact, Dr. Parrish should probably be leading the mission. Well, obviously, who I think shouldn't go is Dr. Parrish because he is, uh, he's basically the opposite of Fargo in that his incompetence is actually incompetent. The Astraeus Project is the biggest thing to happen in the world of science in a millennium. I deserve to be part of it. N Neil should go. Um, one, because it's kind of his, his secret desire. Neil, um, uh, who plays Fargo, should go. He's always wanted to be part of Star Trek anyway. I would say that Holly would be a good member. I, th I feel like she's very helpful and willing to pitch in. I think that uh, her enthusiasm and willing to innovate might be a advantage. And then I think Zane just should walk around with no shirt on. What's wrong with that? Oh, obviously I need my girlfriend, Joe. Otherwise nothing's happening in space, you know what I'm saying? I think we need Niall so that he can walk around with the shirt off. That'll be very exciting for everyone. <laughs> I think that Joe Lupo should go on the mission to Titan because, um, well, they need brawn and they need someone who's good with guns. And if, you know, they were to happen to come across any sort of alien species, they would probably need Joe to take over the alien species and, and be able to, you know, to help them and protect them and um, use the weaponry that they have. I can do it fast. We don't have much time. Dr. Parrish is extremely excited about the opportunity to be one of the pioneers to use faster than light travel and to be one of the very first people to really go beyond where, <laughs> where, I guess, where no one has gone before. I should go to Titan. You need a sheriff. What happens if someone breaks the law? There's no one to enforce it. Get real. Well, obviously, Fargo should be selected to go to Titan. He's clearly the most brilliant and least accident-prone of everyone. I don't feel that I have the authority to say who should not go to Titan. I mean, I think sort of, I'm, I believe that everybody can improve, everybody can, you know, better themselves, anybody can distinguish themselves. So I'm up for a test, and the winner of the test wins. I think although Henry is um, very uh, obviously capable and one of the most intelligent and well-educated people in Eureka, I wouldn't think that, um, I mean, actually, I don't, I don't know why he wouldn't be good, actually. He'd probably be better than Holly. Well, that's not good. I just gave up my seat on the Titans. <laughs> Thank you.